that if we take a limit of the sum of two functions as x approaches a number that we call c, we can um, take the individual limits of the functions and just add them together. So if this has a limit equal to m, and this one has a limit equal to l, again as x goes to c, then we're just going to add them together. So it's just like the, um, the theorem for sequences. So for the proof, we're going to start off by using the theorem on the characterization of limits of functions with uh, limits of um, sequences, which says that uh, for every sequence, xn, such that xn is not equal to c, because when we're taking a limit, we don't care about the point itself, just um, when it gets very, very close to c. We can say that um, instead of writing it out this way, that the limit as x goes to c of f is equal to m, we can say that when xn approaches c, then f of x approaches m, and also g of x approaches l. So this is just rewriting what we have up here in a different form uh, with sequences. So the reason that we're doing this is um, so that we can apply the theorem on, um, on the limit of a sum of sequences and then show how it's, um, it, it's uh, applicable here too. So um, if we then apply the theorem on the limit of a sum of sequences, We can say that assuming that we don't have an indeterminate form, so indeterminate form in this case could be something like plus infinity and minus infinity, which is just inconclusive, so then we wouldn't be able to actually get um, a result from this. Then we can say that If we're adding together uh, the two functions, and here I just forgot to write the n here. This is again just because we're treating x as a sequence. So if we're adding those two functions together, that's the same thing as saying f plus g of xn. And from the theorem on the limit of a sum, we can say that uh, when we have addition, we can just add together the two limits, m and l. So if we now go backwards, we said earlier that xn approaching c was equivalent to um, x approaching c. So we can rewrite this as the limit of the two functions added together. as x approaches c is equal to l plus l, or m plus l. So it's pretty straightforward. You just want to state um, which theorems you're using. And if you want to mention also for this one, this is called a theorem on the characterization of limits of functions with limits of sequences. So it basically just says that we can use sequences to help us um, understand uh, functions.